it's not like anything that's been shown before. You're not sitting in a seat. You don't have the popcorn in your hand. You're immersed into this whole beautiful show. We wanted to make it into a comic book, something entertaining that has some indigenous values and traditions and uh, important messages about environment and uh, conflict of, of the ego and humility we have inside of all of us. When Justin and I first created the story and when we were, had the storyline going, we were going to annihilate ego and have everybody living in harmonious peace. Um, but during the processes, uh, the elders were the one that reached out to us and explained to us that ego is very important, and especially as we get older and as we're teenagers, um, if we hold our breath against our friends, it's ego teaching us how to do that. If we ride our bikes and run fastest against our friends, it's ego that's trying to teach us that. But there comes to a point where you will have to find balance with ego and put it in check. That conflict of ego and humility is inside of us, and it became the origin story for our characters to come to life. And that's where the four characters introduced themselves. Who into the world? Back in the day before there was any technology in North America, the only technology that we had was to listen and to listen to the elders and listen to the wind, listen to the animals in the woods maybe warning us for something coming up. Um, nowadays, it's just all blocked by distraction. We created the, the series uh, Sacred Defenders of the Universe uh, starting in 2018 and been developing the stories for a few years. And when Telespark Science Center uh, reached out to us, this production was created in less than a year, which is really an incredible achievement to go from concept to final product um, with something at this scale. I think everybody is going to benefit from this. I mean, the kids will be overwhelmed just chasing little fish and the birds that we see on the ground. Um, I, everybody's going to connect to this in one way or another, I'm sure. We hope that this story inspires people. Um, we hope that you know, you leave here and connecting with one of the characters, one of the four elements, uh, fire, water, earth and wind. These are all elements that are found within all of us as humans. So you can communicate and, and discover these gifts inside you and understand what makes us human. So we hope that inspires people to go out into the world and reconnect with nature and reconnect with themselves on a deeper level.